Welcome back, everybody, to the world of Espel's Place, Torrent Tizen New and Air. Episode. What was it? 95, I believe. Yeah, that sounds right. Anyway, last time we died. Like, Perma died. That's the first time I ever Perma died in this game. I didn't even know it was possible. Uh, so, we're going to continue. But this time, we're going to tell Air just not to open it. No, Air, so I think we. That would be a bad idea. She nestled her jar close to her, her hands hovering above the con controls. A very bad idea. Stay back. The creature of dancing smells. Good smells? I hope. Not like the rest of this place. Or or you, milady. He blushes in. Quickly tries to cover his mistake. Now that you smell so bad, all things considered. He hesitates. Wait. You don't have a nose. She shakes her face uh, at him, baring her teeth, and he backs away. Uh, what do you want me to do for you? Do you not listen? I am blind, and I would see. I don't care how it's done. Restore my sight, and I will give you my jar of wind. Hmm. Examine the jar she holds. Made from a pick up. Battered metal, it seems to throw them with energy. Small lights flicker in the air above it. His curled lips, a uh, sobber, and a toothy smile. My pride and my punish punishment. All in one, she says. She hides behind her back. And if you want it, you'll have me, uh, help me regain my sight. If not, you never know uh, know its wonders. Perhaps he is interested. This is good. All right. I believe if we talk to the doctors, might we might be able to open that. So we'll do that now. After we're done exploring this area. Right. What's in there? More stuff. It's not a single side. Whatever that is. We shall see. Murden's area is less uh, dangerous than I thought. I'm going. Then again, I need diplomacy, so. The whole metal door looks uh, fa fairly solid. As a single mechanical lock, you notice that the mechanism appears complicated, suggesting it's more than just a simple lock. Examine the lock more closely. Embedded within the lock mechanism is a thin bladder of air. As you look more carefully, you realize that the bladder is somehow connected to a series of tubes. This is a trap, a cunning, ingenious trap that is beyond your skill. Uh. Skill that murders. It must be a part of the original design of the door. Hmm. Try to disarm the trap. I could do it, but uh, he's better at these type of things, right? You can do a sixty. Yeah, might as well do it. Yield. Critical success. Inventor start moving slowly, methodically. Use it trace. The trigger mechanism it into a to a pinhole nozzle in front of the door. Will lead back to a small uh, reservoir. It contains a dangerous substance that would uh, be spread on a hopeless victim. After uh, disabling the trigger, you remove the uh, the reservoir from the door. You're now the proud owner of a small sack of molecular acid, and it's a cipher. So I'm probably gonna get cipher sickness. And cipher sickness. All right. Pick the luck. Uh, am I still the best one to do this? 65. Yeah, I can do this. You manipulate the, you manipulate the locks successfully, and the lock, door unlocks the satisfying clunk. One more thug, enter the thug. Ah, this must be the prison. Yes. I'm making a note. Two men share the cell. Both of them wear the armor of men for the uh, soldiers. A third sort of lies on the ground nearby, lifeless. One of the survivors is badly hurt, bleeding, clutching his side. The other, a younger man, appears uninjured. His hands are bound with the rusty monocles. He looks barely uh, up at you with uh, eyes that suggest that he is waiting for the butcher's blade. Then he re re then he realizes that you're not a man, Murden. His voice is uh, his face lights up with frantic hope. Oh, thank the gods! You're 
you've come. If you can free us, you can uh, you can name your reward with a uh, Ruska or with uh, Mavor herself. How'd you get here? We've been on the route for a long time, very long time. We've never had any trouble with them in our emergency before. They've always paid for uh, their tribute. As we had no reason to think, uh, to think they just uh, tried to slaughter us. We fought back and uh, we survived the fight, but he gestured to his companion. I don't know how much longer we'll survive. We need your help to escape. Zeva's got a family back in Scissors. I have to get him out of here. How have you been treated? They give us some uh, bowls of slop now and then. I don't dare eat it. It used to, uh, if I used it uh, as a chamber pot, you'd never know the difference. Otherwise, they ignore that. It's about and me. I mean, if you didn't count the time when they came in here and ate a piece of Pella, Pella, they're keeping us uh, fresh, is what I think, instead of letting us rot. Our turn will come uh, sure of it. I heard screaming down the hall. What are they keeping on us fresh for? Free them both. There's a key by the door, friend. He says, just uh, use that and... Excellent. He finishes as you unlock him in front of friend. And his friend. Can I tell you worth something else? With the shape uh, of his in, there's no way he can get out of here alive. At least not without an emergency guard watching the entryway. Can you do something about them? If you hide in the next cell, I'll tell the Mernon's guard that you escaped. That will give you time. I saw the plan. I'll wait uh, for you there. When you give us the word that the way is clear, we'll make a run for it. Alright. Murder puff itself up in greasy black bat. It's greasy black dawn now expanding as it, its beady eyes size you up. Note that the creature is slightly larger than uh, its comrade. It grows a harsh and glo global challenge. A burst of mi mistrustful stack fuzzes your thoughts. Your prisoners are gone. The creature looks uh, at you blankly for a moment, then uh, darts quickly glance to the comrade. You sense a stickly circuit exchange between them, and then you turn your desk down the hall. Why not? Hmm. You were Zebek? I think I met you telling the city's cliff. And he reaches in a shaking hand and closes the door. Are they well? They were fine when I last saw them. His grip on the shore tightens and his eyes grow wet. Thank the gods, he uh, whispers. If I, if I survive this, I'm going home. Never let them out of my sight again. No care what uh, Basek says. She said, time has a way of slipping out of your hands in the bloom. That's why... What they say. I never meant to stay lo so long. Let me take a look at your wounds. Oh, not sure. Ah, he murmurs, peeling back his bl blood quaked uh, armor. Looks at you uh, with a mix of hope and dread, probably assuming that, they, uh, that you're a healer. Fortunately, you have some knowledge in medicine, or you remember some of your sire's knowledge. Perhaps. The soldier's wounds not, don't smell of corruption, and you're certain that they're uh, survivable, but only with the right treatment. Which we won't get until he escapes the cell. Do you? Door crossed by the murders. Come and collect the bosses. Bustle is true, as we always do. Fell on us like them. Murderers they are. Puts a hand on his uh, side. For one of their beaks with my fist. Got my a couple stab wounds for them, my trouble. Alright. Alright, I need you. It's clear you should be able to make it your way out safely. You have my gratitude, friend. Farewell. 
We'll make a home alive. If you intern to help them. Blah, blah, blah. Fair enough. All right. Well, that worked. Yes. <laughs> Interesting. Allow me. Ooh, loot. I like loot. Woot woot. As you tug on the heavy door, a panic-filled ma male voice calls to you. Hello? Is someone out there? I know you're not Martins. I can feel their bl blasting mental noise. For all the gods, I hope you are, you're friendlier than they are. Please, you have to help me. For the love of everything, you hold uh, dear. Please open the door. Dear gods, let it uh, be a rescuer. I don't want to die. Who are you? My friends call me uh, Shinwise, please. I don't want to die. Open the door. We're trying to kill you. I don't know. I don't know. Tentacle thing uh, that hung around the edges of the room. Their blood and bones all over the place. The murderers threw me in here. Lock the door in behind me. I think I'm supposed to be sure I'm kind of sacrificed. Alright. Pick the door. Right. Sweet success. With a click here, you unlock the door as uh, it rumbles open and reveal the emaciated man is tattered rags. It looks a uh, profound shock and fear on his face. Behind him, the blood bones and the litter of the floor. The man is short and dark, and his face is scat scarred and disfigured. One of his injuries is freshly, uh, freshly uh, branded on his cheek. It's set on his blade with blood dripping from it. He wears the rags of uh, clothes of a bloom slave. Tattered and filthy. He tries desperately to push past you. Let me out of here, I beg you. This is not a, not a, no fit place for a human. It's going to kill me. I'll do anything to get out of here, even if I had to kill again. Uh, before, before I let you out, oh, I need you uh, to answer some questions for me. He glances back uh, over his shoulder. His nervousness apparent in every twitch, and you can see him evaluating the possibility of just bowling through you. His mental, uh, mental calculus is complete. He inches closer, but he shows no sign of trying to bolt. All right, he, but please make them quick. I don't want to be uh, eaten. Tell me about what this, uh, what's in the room. Why does it frighten you? He looks at you uh, with incredulity. Uh, Gradually, the floor is covered with blood, and bones are uh, snapped in half. And the smell of death is everywhere. He breaks off and looks behind him, apparently distraught. I don't know what's in here, but I've seen th things, tentacle things, moving around the edges of the room. Is he insane? How does this room not frighten him? What are you doing here? You know the auctioneer outside the Menvor's fortress, the one that. With too many teeth, he sold not me to the merchants, supposedly to open a mall, and the merchants sold me to the merchants. That's not even legal. Nobody's allowed to sell slaves to the merchants. He swallowed glasses over his uh, shoulder again. The merchants threw me in the cell. I saw them cast uh, another slave into the room before me. I heard the screaming so much uh, blood. He looks up, imploring Patsy, please let me not out. Who are you? I'm I'm Shinwise. I caught by uh, I got caught by the levees when I nicked some uh, sleep one for my old aunt mother. She's dying. I couldn't afford a chirgan, and I'd never done it before. Though I'd let, take a chance uh, in the bloom flavor to pay my debts and got back home. I never dreamed it would wind up here. Will he bite? It shouldn't matter. Nobody deserves this fate, no matter what I did. What's the symbol on your cheek? Tiber. That? Tiber uh, appears more closely. That's the symbol that used to brand murder and, uh, murderers in the city. You'll notice that I don't have one. The little man's eyes dart left and right. He flicks his lips. Looks his lips. It's true. I killed a couple of thugs in the under valley. But it was them or me. Honest, fulsome. Turned me in over the levees because the monster killed work for him. Otherwise, he wouldn't have cared. Any more questions? Does it mean you'll get let me go? Please, please. Mm. 
No, I don't want to do that. I'm not evil. Step aside, let him go. Without word, he thanks and not. Uh, oh, thanks. He bolts past you and down the hill, all vanishing around this corner. Thank the gods I may be a killer, but I don't deserve to lie like that. Yeah, yeah, Calisius. I know he's probably bullshitting me. Sure okay. Something about the room feels off to you. Sensation on being watched and evaluated. The booms, wall, balls, and press glistening with a faint sheen. I think they're beginning to salivate. The space has somehow begun to wake. Great muscles connect to uh, in a rippling parasitic wave trying to pull you further into the room. Your instincts scream out uh, of danger. Hmm. Prepare to fight whatever comes. Swirling uh, singulars appear and sl uh, slimy creatures tumble out. Tumble out. Nightmares of grasping tendrils and uh, gaping maws. They hiss and groan with ant hunger. And the battle begins. Uh, not that surprising. Where are you? Corpsular Ma. Who am I? Alright, you. You are my main melee guy. Hmm. Let's just have you run over here and smack him one. Nice. You. Alright. Sucker punch. Dead deals weapon damage. Plus three if the target has a negative fatal confers damage for one round. It fails to resist confers fate. Hmm. Go over here and smack one. Apparently, you can teleport every time. Alright, there's three. Good to know. Ow. There we go. I'm surrounded. That is true. Here, go. go over here. And we're gonna bow pew pew. Actually, no, pew pew. Ah, uh, transdimensional. Right? That sounds right. Mental. Hmm. Isn't this the explosion one? Yeah, what the explosion one that gets both? There. Some effort into that. Boom. What do you think of this? Eh, Galaxies, you're gonna yes. back up. And you're gonna actually do the same explosion. I can. Yeah. Make them hurt. Exactly as it should. Be. Oh, I think one exploded all over the place. Eww. Just what I needed. None of these guys. Uh, these guys are not tough at all. I'm like destroying them. It was heroic. Can't say I mind that. <laughs> As the last creature explodes, you can feel the echoes of the th singular passing back and forth across the room, merging with uh, the others, gathering together. Noise rises from the corner of the room. Something like wet meat sliding across itself. Then the sound of me meat tearing. And new maw caves uh, hitters in the wall. Hey, I made them all. Sweet. Where does that maw lead? Yes. Now. 
with alacrity. Let's see where the maw leads first. What does it say? The treasure trove. Ooh. I like treasure. Oh boy. That's treasure. I got ill gotten gains. All right. Let's start looting. Uh, money. Black metal frame, which I needed. Soul of Rotten and Cast. Orange or. Means are front of people who once lived. Hmm. Put in grave the outside of the castle in the middle of this, even bare on the side. Signal of uh, pestle lies within, containing the essence of those who created it. Interesting. Making a note. Loot. Yes. Now. Uh, money. Harmala. All right. I'm carrying too many ciphers. Yeah, we're gonna have to fix that soon after this of course uh compass of the navigator device question this power has been used an entry device should be theoretically possible we require power source of a such a massive capacity that unlikely to exist in the ninth world huh feather cloak neat all right. More looting. Money. Floating pendant. Uh, oddity. Usable artifact. Mm, Feel the ingenious clockwork with them. The whole variety depicts a solar system for different from your own. Time to over to rotate. Soundlessly and endlessly. The pattern of the path is uh, no doubt revealing alien cost. Blah, blah, blah. Hmm. There's a lot of things I'm going to have to look at. All right. All now what's right. this? Tucked away in the fleshy uh, abscess uh, is a sculpture of a pix that's embedded in a into a double of stone blocks. Near the sculpture is a base uh, is a bronze plaque. Examine the plaque. Etched in the plaque is a short message: "Better swing the pick uh, than strike the vein." Shins are uh, shackles in the treasure uh, and treasure chains. Chubber chuckles along and low, spoken like someone who just likes their money in shackles. I don't think the artist, artist and I would uh, ever get along. Examine the pickaxe. The shining metal handle uh, towers overhead, completely out of uh, reach. You couldn't touch it without climbing the sculpture itself, and even then, it looks uh, far too heavy to move. The pickaxe trembles, and, and you blink. You felt the motion in your mind. You may actually be able to uh, affect the sculpture with your uh, thoughts. Try to free the pickaxe? Sure. Success. Focus on the handle on the pickaxe, and you think, move. It twitches, and but nothing else happens. Shouting, shouting out every sound around you, shutting out every sound around you, every tremor in the floor and the soft uh, thumping of your heart. You pit the full attention against the shape of the tool above you. With a hoarse scraping uh, sound, pickaxe uh, reacts from the stone, pl stone blocks, and a powerful uh, waterfall of shins cascade from the same inner recess of the, in the sculpture until a pile between the, the blocks. You won the battle of wits uh, with the sculpture, Eridus uh, Rass. Congratulations. The hero should have solved the challenge. We feel cheated. Takes the shins. As you reach uh, shins inside the sculpture, strange feel, uh, feeling of revulsion uh, revulsion sweeps over you. Put your hand back. That never feeling passes the moment you draw your hand back away. The sculpture alone. We're leaving, Erda says, horrified. Well, what about all the treasure? No, don't touch it. My guess is it was, uh, cursed. Can I get the pickaxe, though? No. Uh. Did we get the banner of his? The guys? 
Uh, don't know if we got the banner. We got the black metal frame for um, one of bitches uh, quest, but huh? I don't know. You know I'm what? Going. Take the shins. Screw it. Because keep the uh, up the shins and uh, with each handful of quest. Cuisine just seems to sink deeper into your, uh, following your thoughts. Uh, normally it's fatal until the next time he party sleeps. Uh, Alright, what does that do? Demoralize. So next sleep, 20% willpower, 10% invasion, 15 alt has. Alright. Of course. Whatever. Well, that was looted. Now I still have that one thing I'm missing. I have a lot of stuff I had to get rid of. Hmm. I am not sure. Wait. Is there another path I could have gone? Yep. I completely missed the other path. <laughs> well, that was stupid to me. We'll go down, we'll check out the Murden's uh, little area next time. So until next time, remember brace the chaos or you'll go mad. Bye.